Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to continue dealing with exponential functions and we're going to look at situations in word problems that require us to come up with an exponential function from the situation that's given. Okay. So let's just remind ourselves of what an exponential function is. Um, it's a function that when we have certain input values that increase over um, a range of time, the output values are related by a constant ratio. Okay, and remember from our previous lesson that our standard formula is f of x equals uh, a times b raised to the x, where x is our input value and f of x is our output value. Okay, so now today we're going to look at how we find given a situation how we find our a and our b and so our a this a is our initial value okay so in 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 every situation that we're given when we want to find the initial value of what happens before we do anything okay and then our b is going to be our constant rate ratio okay so this is our constant ratio all right and we find our constant ratio by forming a ratio of our successive output values okay so let's take a look at a situation and see if we can come up with an exponential function all right so we're given a situation when a piece of paper is folded in half the total thickness doubles. Okay, suppose an unfilled folded piece of paper is 0.1 millimeters thick or a tenth of a millimeter thick. Write an equation for the total thickness T of n as a function of the number of folds n. Then use the function to determine the thickness of the paper after five folds and after eight folds. All right, so the first thing we wanna do when we have a situation like this is we wanna write down our standard formula, okay? So we're going to have, in this case, our, form, our, our output function is going to be T of n, which is the thickness after a certain number of folds. Okay? And we're going to bring back our standard formula, which is A times B, and it's going to be raised to the n because n is the number of folds that we have. All right? And so going back to our... Uh, situation or our word problem we want to highlight some information so the first thing we want to highlight is that when it's folded in half the total thickness doub doubles okay so that's very important and then we also want to highlight let's do it in a different color suppose an unfolded piece of paper is one millimeter thick Okay, so these are the two most important things that we need at this moment. All right, so in this case, before we make any folds, we know that our unfolded piece of paper is 0 0.1 millimeters thick. So that's gonna be our initial value, right? So that's gonna replace A, which is our initial value. All right, and then we need to find out how, what is our constant ratio between our successive values, output values, right? So we can do this uh, one of two ways. In this case, we can have a, ch we can make a table where we have our number of folds and then our output value, okay? And so we know that when we don't make any folds, our, the thickness of the paper is 0 0.1 millimeters. Okay, and if we make one fold, it doubles, so that's going to be 0 0.1 times 2, right, which gives us 0 0.2 millimeters. Okay, and so to get B, we would take and make a ratio of our successive values, which are these two values, our output values. So we would have 0 0.1 divided by 0. Uh, 0 0.2, excuse me, divided by 0 0.1, and both of these are in millimeters. Now remember, 
when we have a ratio like this with where our units are the same, our units are going to cancel out. So our final uh, answer for B is just going to be 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.1, which is going to give us 2. Okay, so our B in this case is 2. Okay, and so our final exponential function is T of N is equal to 0 0.1 times 2 raised to the N. All right, and so I just want to point out that I showed you how to find the ratio, the constant ratio, using a table between two successive values. We could have uh, found that, ratio, uh, that constant ratio from our problem itself because it says that the total thickness doubles. Okay, and so now we want to find out uh, the thickness of the paper after five folds. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our function that we found. And we want to find for five folds. So we just want to evaluate this function for five folds. Okay? And so that's going to give us 0 0.1. And remember, we uh, raise our base to the exponent first and then multiply. So 2 to the fifth is going to be 32. And so a tenth of 32 is 3.2 millimeters. And make sure that when you write your answer, you include your units. Okay? All right. So now we want to find for eight folds. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use our exponential function that we found. And now we're going to simply substitute eight for n. Okay, and when we do that, we get 2 to the 8th is going to be 2 to the 5th, which is 32, times 2 to the 3rd, which is 8. So we get 32 times 8, which is going to be 256. Okay, and so a tenth of 256 is going to be 25.6 millimeters. All right. So let's look at another situation. We have a pharmaceutical company is testing a new antibiotic. The number of bacteria present in sample one, one hour after the application of the antibiotic is 50,000. Another hour, after another hour, the number of bacteria present in the sample is 25,000. The number of bacteria remaining, R of N, is an exponential function of the number of hours since the antibiotic was applied. Write an equation for the number of bacteria remaining after n hours. Okay, so basically we're given the situation where after an hour we have a certain number of bacteria present, and then after another hour we have another number of bacteria present. All right, so what we want to do is we want to make a chart like we did in the previous problem. Okay, so we have the number of hours, and then we have R of N, which is going to be the number of bacteria present in the sample. All right, so after one hour, we have 50,000 bacteria present. Okay, and then after two hours, we have 25,000 bacteria present. And we want to find a, an exponential function that represents this situation. All right, so again, we're going to grab our standard form. So we're going to have R of n is equal to a times b raised to the n. Okay, and so we don't know in this situation, unlike the previous one, we don't know our initial value. We know that after one hour, there are 50,000 bacteria present, and after two hours, there are 25,000 bacteria present. Okay, so what we can do is, but we do know how to find B, which is our constant ratio. To find B, we take our successive values, so we're going to have 25,000, okay, and we're going to divide that by 50,000. And so when we do that, we get uh, 25 over 50, remember our zeros cancel out, the extra zeros, so we get 25 over 50, which is one half. 
So we know that our B is one half. Right, so in order to find out what our initial value is, we can do one of two things. We can use this equation, exponential equation that we found so far, and use one of our points, because remember these are just points. They are table, but they're also ordered pairs. And we can plug into this and solve for A. Or you can work backwards, right? If we know that each time from 25,000 to 50,000, it doubles. So from 50,000 to zero, uh, zero hours, right? Because that's initially what we're trying to find is our initial, uh, what happened, how many bacteria are present initially. We can double 50,000. All right, so let's just use one of our points. All right, uh, let's plug in 50,000. So remember 50 is our output and we're gonna have A times one half to the first because that's after the first hour. To get rid of, so now we're gonna have one half A because one half to the one is just one half equal to 50,000. And to get rid of this one half, we multiply by two on both sides. So A is gonna be 100,000. Okay, and so our exponential function is going to be R of n. A we now know is 100,000 times 1 half raised to the n. And this will give us um, the number of bacteria present after n hours. So however many hours we have. Okay, and that is the end of today's lesson.